this is Jim Starkworth, the publisher of Kim Anchor Network and Model Shipwrights, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we have uh, another book from Kagero Publishing. This one is another Super Drawings in 3D, uh, an earlier release in 2013, but they're, I guess they're catching me up. And this is the Battleship Gneisenau. Gneisenau. Oh, I had to actually look that up, obviously, because I am not a German speaker. Uh, but uh, this one is uh, packed in this nice little, or it came to me in this nice little plastic sleeve, so I assume that's how they are going to come to any uh, potential buyers as well. It's a very glossy front cover, as uh, is very typical of these books. And uh, what these are are digital CAD um, encyclopedias of a, a specific subject, in this case, this particular battleship. Um, this is 16014 in their uh, numbering system. And I'm probably not even going to take a stab at the author's names, but uh, Marius Moitka and Mirostauskaiwat. Eh, close maybe. <laughs> uh, here's the back cover, and you can see they have the uh, ship going in reverse. Now, um, you, these are highly detailed uh, 3D uh, images. I'll just kind of kind of skip inside here to show you the kind of detail detail you're going to get in this book really goes down to you know just like every ladder every every rivet I mean just like a lot of detail um, and, the, and the scale obviously varies so they do include uh, several uh, in addition to the how many page um, 82 ish page book um, they also give you some line drawings which uh, are in these very expansive uh, fold outs and uh, just to show you kind of how big they get uh, let's see basically you're gonna get a 1 3 50th 1 1 3 50th scale drawing uh, not these parts these parts are gonna be in uh, this is 1 3 50th but these are like oh, I guess these are all 1 3 50th already. sometimes they zoom in so I guess all the, these are all 1 3 50th so and then on the reverse side we have the actual ship in 1 3 50th which you can see um, is very nice uh, with lots of uh, small detail just kind of zooming in there you can see that cross section there um, and then the other line drawing is um, more detailed pieces I believe with some actual um, perspective shots of the ship at a an angle and here's what I was talking about like this is the float plane and um, they don't show the scale, but obviously that's larger than 1 3 50th. This is 1 100th, um, the 1 100th uh, gun turrets, and uh, things like that. You know, they've got the captain's boats on here, uh, the admiral's boot, and the picket boot, or the Ver Versker boot. Uh, again, don't know German, just kind of throwing this stuff out there. Don't. If you guys want to correct me in, in comments, go right ahead. Um, I wish I could say I'm going to study it intensely, and the next time I'll pronounce it properly, but yeah, probably not going to happen. <laughs> uh, so then they have this color fold out, which is just a simple, uh, not a 1 through 50th scale, but obviously a nice color version of the ship, uh, showing some of the rangefinder equipment uh, down to very small detail. Uh, interesting, the color on the top of the turrets, is that actually, no, I'm not sure why this particular photo displays those in that kind of color. Maybe they're trying to point out details that are on the tops of the turrets, not sure. All right, so now to the actual book itself. Uh, there is a forward section here that has lots of text and information, goes over some of the specs of the ship and so forth. And these are uh, quite extensive, uh, several pages of them. And uh, again, they do you know forward stern views, um, view of the stern there with the uh, the scout plane, and uh, so forth and so on. So uh, likely a ship that will probably be in World of Warships, I bet, when they finally start introducing the German ships. Um, but uh, you can see lots of great detail. Again, just going to flip through. Uh, I mean, some of these shots look like actual photos. They're that good in terms of the weathering and the shading. Um, they're getting better uh, at these. Obviously, this this one is even two years old, but the, but you can tell they're getting better. I mean, as an as an industry kind of thing, not the authors themselves, but they're getting better with doing these so that they actually kind of are three D models. 
Um, and, uh, you know, I really do see this now. Interesting. Okay, during the operation Berlin, the battleship's turrets were painted yellow for aerial identification purposes. So that is an interesting little paint scheme there. And then uh, this one, Operation uh, Weiser bon Bung, Weiser, Weiser, whatever. <laughs> they painted them red. So apparently that was uh, something they had to do a lot of there. I guess maybe their own air forces were not, not good at, uh, at keeping the... Uh, the ships fr out from from harm. Uh, the cost of these books, um, not sure. I'm gonna have to put that in the details. But uh, you know, they're not completely inexpensive, obviously, for what you're getting. But uh, for someone looking for a reference to up up uh, detail, say one of these ships, I um, uh, don't even not even aware of which kits are currently out, if any, for this kit, uh, ship. Which may be a scenario where you are actually um, trying to convert uh, another uh, German. Battleship into the uh, Gneisenau. Gneisenau? Gne yeah. Uh, Gneis. I see I've forgotten the pronunciation already. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and, I, and I studied so hard for, for saying it at the beginning. Um, Gneisenau. Yes, okay. It's a little less G sound. I think it's Gneisenau. Like, like you're, it almost sounds like they're saying Gneisenau, but they're back. The G sound is in there. All right. Well, uh, thanks uh, to our friends at Casemate for sending this uh, one along to us, and we appreciate uh, getting this one. We also have, as a potential future follow-up, the Congo, which is a slightly newer publication. This came out in January of this year. So we'll be doing that one uh, after this one, and uh, hope you enjoy. And there's some photos attached on the review on the website if you're looking for more kind of in-depth uh, detail on the photos. And please comment and give me feedback and sure tell me how to pronounce things I, I don't mind I mean I'm just saying I don't you know I, I don't have time to study these things and learn new languages I'm busy I'm learning computer languages and, and other things you know I'm not just a guy who runs a website I'm also the guy who does all the coding and the database and everything so all right well uh, thanks again for tuning in to this this uh, issue of turning the page and uh, we'll see you next time